Hey everybody, thank you all for joining us in today's very special interview with none other than my hubby, who actually is far more Googled than my own YouTube channel. <laughs> so we had to do this. So, hey baby. Hi, my love. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. So we have some questions that are prepared and hopefully we're gonna address most of your most common questions. So we're gonna start with, how is it that my hubby can maintain abs year round without even having to compete or having like a goal in, in that area? So well, give us the secrets. Honey, for me, it's very easy <laughs> um, simply because I want to look good. I mean, for my mental health, I need to look the way that I want to look. And I think that <clears throat> it becomes easier when you become to normalize good behavior and good diet and not think like it's something out of this world that you're doing and look at me, I'm dieting every day. No, you do it every day and you normalize it. Uh, the good food, actually, I like my food. You know I love my food. So I eat the same thing every day for the last 10 years. And I know people must think that's crazy, but you know, it's not crazy to me because I enjoy my food. I make my food at the start of the week. Uh, it's my turkey with broccoli and black olives and red meat with the same thing. And that's all I eat for dinner and for lunch and for breakfast. It's just the eggs and egg whites with a couple of yolks and a protein shake at the end of the day. And uh, that's it. So because I know they're going to ask in the comments, can you tell them exactly what percent lean or fat? Yeah, 93.7 for the red meat and for the turkey. And I still take tons of fat out of the, 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 the skillet when you know I'm cooking it. I have to pour all this fat out and it's 97.3. So you can imagine if it wasn't that, it'd be even worse. So. And um, you do get your good healthy fats. You get them because you eat all of your eggs whole and you eat right. tons of eggs every morning. How many yeah. eggs do you have? Well, every not whole eggs. I mean, I have about four whole eggs and about maybe eight eggs, four whole eggs. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I get healthy fat. I, I, I don't need that much fat. <laughs> yeah. And that makes it easier for you because you really don't like to spend time working out. You barely work out other than weightlifting. Wow, Compared honey, thank you. Life. Thank you for telling everybody <laughs> I barely, no, I work out, I work out what I do to maintain. See, the thing is, the misconception is that you get to the point where you think you look great and then you just have to maintain. You don't have to be, I don't have a goal to get any bigger. I'm 6'5", I weigh 225. If I was crazy in the gym, I'd look like a house and I don't like looking like that. I'd rather look lean and cut and that's the way that I like to look. Not like in the 80s, I remember my in the gyms, everybody was putting steroids and they were like humongous, you know, and I, that's not the look that I like. I, just, I yeah. like an athletic look yeah. and to have abs and to be cut. And, and, but, um, but I mean, you, what I meant to say is like, you don't do cardio, you know? Well, almost again, no thank you. <laughs> Honey, I do 20 that's minutes good. every day of the step master. True, you know? that's true, that's true. So, I mean, you know what, I would rather eat lean and not like some people will spend two hours on a treadmill then they go eat junk and then i mean it's too much hard work for the little calories 20 minutes on a treadmill for me i'm 6'5 225 mm -hmm. when i finish i am a bucket of sweat and i lost 200 calories that's one cookie 20 minutes for one cookie no 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 thank you i would rather just work out eat super well until I have my wonderful cheat, which is tomorrow, which <laughs> right. we'll talk about that. Which I do for yeah. you every week. Yes. So that is the uh, highlight of, oh, your absolutely. of your fun day of the week. Absolutely. So can you share what your cheats look well, like? Well, my cheat is actually 24 cookies, 24. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't eat, I eat well for two weeks because Keto, then yeah. when I eat the 24 cookies, I don't care. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm not looking like, oh, can I eat a certain amount? No, I eat, I pick out completely. And the, the almond cookies, uh, I use Lily's chips. The, I just got the pumpkin spice, which is <laughs> unbelievably good. I try to order a ton for Walmart. They're like only two at a time. And so I'm ordering every day just to try to, now they run out. Anyway, point B, and then I use uh, the white chocolate chip. I use the creme, I lose a 50% uh, less sugar cranberry. Um, I use butterscotch and um, what else? Um, salted caramel salted chocolate. Salted caramel chocolate sometimes, and the white chocolate. Yeah, and sometimes you do Reese's, sugar-free right, Reese's right. with walnuts. So, and, and I put walnuts in, in, in yeah. all the cookies. So, so that, yeah. yeah. 
Um, um, I do have the base of that keto recipe on my channel. I'm gonna link it in the description box below for you so that you know how I do it. It's literally like four or five ingredients, so easy to make. Super. Yeah, and it all started from my keto cookbook actually, which is on Amazon. I'm actually gonna link that as well below. So I started writing, when I published that cookbook, my hubby had the idea of why not change the base recipe, which was actually made with cinnamon, remove the cinnamon and add vanilla extract. And so this is that is metamorphosized <laughs> into vanilla extract, yeah. uh, almond extract, banana extract, coconut, maple extract, coconut, the coconut extract <laughs> with chocolate and walnuts. Oh my God. I mean, it is so delicious. And it's after eating salty foods for like two weeks. And I, when I eat that, I'm, I mean, I lay down in my couch back there and I love horror movies. So I try to pick out a good horror movie because they're so awful these days. And I sit there and I just veg out and uh, like all day, I like, I pace myself. I eat my cookies and then I take a little break. Then I eat something salty then I eat my cookies and it's a whole ordeal, but yeah. You know. Yes, and I, I try, I attempt to not see any of the scenes, but I always catch the worst scenes and then I have <laughs> nightmares. That's true. The first That's time I, I had not watched a horror movie ever since I was 12. I swore them off because I just couldn't sleep at night anymore. And I never watched one until our first or second date. Uh, the, conjuring? First, the Conjuring? The Conjuring. He took me to the movie theater and we're still dating. I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll go. Yeah, that's when you said yes to everything. Now it's like a fight for everything. <laughs> oh my God, so okay. We went and I did not sleep again for like the first seven days. Oh, come on, and you slept like a baby. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> like a so, baby. <laughs> anyway. So, anyway. Can you read the questions? You're ad yeah, yes, too much. Yeah, you're right. Come on. Okay, we're okay. All right. So, yeah, the horror movies and um, keto cookies. That's yeah. going to happen for you tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm tomorrow. Jealous. Yes. yes. And um, it's basically, yeah, like the, uh, just check out the, rib, the base recipe and yeah. maybe I should just show you the full recipe because it has metamorphosized so much mm -hmm. um so it's like the base of the keto cookies plus uh the salted caramel chocolate chips or butterscotch all of them are lidly so they're sugar free um if if you want to do some cheat it's better than what what were your earlier let me cheats? just warn everybody it wrecks <laughs> havoc on your stomach yeah and i mean when you're eating healthy all the time and suddenly you're eating this stuff which of course, it has no sugar, but oh my God, it is, it destroys my stomach. And uh, yeah, you know, this isn't like, that's, that's the night that know. we don't sleep together because <laughs> yeah, it's I'm like, I'm going to sleep in the other room. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. Be prepared if you do do cheats. Yeah. Um, your cheats have evolved because in the beginning they were pure carbs. Oh yeah, yeah, right? that, was, that was awful. And it was like a, a bag of like pita chips and all that kind of yeah, stuff. And, and rice now, pudding yeah. and uh, you know. When the was the apple last fritters. time you had a carb? I, I don't know. I, remember. I mean, everything has carbs, obviously, yeah. a little bit, but as bread or potatoes or rice, years. I mean, I haven't yeah. had bread in forever. I don't remember. Okay, let's go to the yeah. next question. My okay. Let's hey, I'm, I'm interviewing you. So. And by the way, it's almond flour. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's almond flour that we're using for these cookies. Yeah, okay? yeah. Yeah, because you could use other things, but the almond flour is definitely the, the most best. delicious yeah. one. Yeah. Um, you know, I think before I ask you all the other questions, let's talk about your age. Right? I'll be 59 now in December. Yes, and, uh, and I'm 35, <laughs> so that's a huge age gap, but it never she's really... She's a cradle happened. robber, that's what she is, that's what she In is. reverse. <laughs> so, um, for you to be this fit, and ha you're literally rocking abs 24-7 for years on end, you're about to hit, what, 59 December? Mm -hmm. You know, so what can, what advice can you give people if they feel like, oh, it's too late, you know, there's... Yeah, right there, it's never too late. I mean, depending on how far you're gone. I mean, if, if you're weighing 350 pounds and you've been like that all your life, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. If you're semi-fit, look, everything is about willpower. And I tell this to my wife all the time. Every time she runs out to get cookies or something like that, and she shouldn't. I emphasize I don't on eat willpower. cookies. What are you talking about? 
willpower. Everything starts here. This is the most powerful organ in your, in, in your body. Not your biceps or your triceps or your chest. It's your mind and how powerful your mind is. is it, that will lead you to wherever you want to go. You know, and it's willpower all the time. You know, I, 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 ha I can see all my lilies, butterscotch and everything from here up on, on top of the refrigerator. I'm not going to eat it because I know that I have set a date and I will not cheat. And number one, you have to be true to yourself. When you start breaking your own promises, forget it. I, the moment I vocalize something to my wife, no, it's gonna be on this date, that's it. I committed it. I committed to saying something like that and it's out there already. You just didn't think it, I said it and I hold myself accountable for everything I do. So when you get to this age, your diet has to be so refined. I mean, I used to have all kinds of things in my refrigerator. I mean, mayo, hot dogs. I used to eat pizza, everything. You know, and slowly but surely, no pizza, then no this and no that. And now my refrigerator is empty. There's, there's nothing in my refrigerator but eggs and water, really. And of course, these two giant pots of the food that I eat every day. But that's it. That's it because, you know, I don't, I don't like to eat in restaurants. I rather make my own food. I know who's making it. And when I go to a restaurant, I'm not going to want to eat like a salad or, or the food that I eat at home, like good food. I'm going to want to eat something that's not good, something that I don't eat every day. So I just stay away from restaurants, do not care to eat there. And uh, I love my food. I mean, I've had my wife taste my food. I have, I've become so proficient at making this taste good. So um, yeah, that's it. Awesome. So what is your workout like in detail? I thought you didn't, you told me I didn't work out a lot. <laughs> I said I didn't anyway, do cardio. I mean, my workout is very simple. I, I, like I said, I go to the gym to maintain and everything I do, everything. And I remember before the internet, because I am old, uh, there was no internet, no computers. So I had to buy books and I remember buying all Arnold Schwarzenegger's book is called blood, sweat and tears of bodybuilding at, you know, Schwarzenegger, Tom Platt, Serge Nubret, all these superstars, uh, Sergio Oliva all these major superstars from the 70s. And he talked about doing drop sets. And I, I don't know, I remember that since I was like 14 years old and I've always implemented into my workouts. So let's say I'm gonna do curls. So I do with 60 pounds, then I grab 35s, and then I grab a, an easy curl bar of 50. And I do five, five, and five. So I, you know, by keeping your muscle hot, it, it helps it to develop. It, it's not really good to work out as hard as you can and do a set and just stop. No, you just do less weight and you keep on dropping down. And another thing that's super important that I always do with everything that I can is negatives. Back, when I do back, always negatives coming down slowly, going up slowly. Um, chest, you know, same thing, you do it slow. And when you do negatives, you're doing like kind of two workouts in one. Because when you're coming down slow, you have to control that weight. So that exerts a lot of, you know, a pressure on your muscles and, and when you're going up, you're doing, you know, the exercise actually itself. So negatives is huge. Um, drop down sets and everything that I can do for me is very important. And I don't see anybody ever at the gym doing negatives or drop down sets. And, you know, well, maybe that's why there's not a lot of go, people that are in good shape at the gym. You know, unfortunately, you know, you, people go work out there and they're on their phone all the time. They're looking at their phone. They're, you know, I mean, I go to the gym and when people want to talk to me, Unfortunately, like I'll kind of ignore them. I'll, I'll have my headphones on and they, you know, and I'll kind of look, I know whatever that might sound like. I don't like to talk at the gym. I don't like being at the gym. I like to go in there, do my stuff and move on and get out. You know, I'm not a gym rat. You know, I don't like to be there for hours on end, uh, you know, making conversation or anything like that. I, <laughs> am I being too honest? Too honest. <laughs> no, but it's true. I just, that, that's, that's my personality. I, I yeah. like to go work out and, you know, I don't like to talk a lot. I would rather just do my sets and I do them very quickly. That's another thing. When I do the drop sounds, obviously it's one right after the other, but then I wait two minutes and I'm doing the same drop sets again. And then two minutes again. So basically in 40 minutes, I do what somebody doesn't do in an hour and a half because again, you know, yeah. waste a lot of time at the gym, you know, yeah. and people just like saying, I went to the gym or oh, to the gym today. Yeah. What did you do? Did you really have a good workout? You know, did you really exert yourself? You know, and I think that's super important in building muscle 
-hmm. is actually feeling that you're exerting your muscle. You just can't, when, when you reach that level that you're doing like uh, the sixth or seventh set and you know, you feel tired, that's when you gotta try to do the, the other one. You know, not just stop every time that you're tired because then you're not breaking muscle tissue. And if you come the next day and you don't have any sore muscles, you didn't do a good job for the simple fact that by breaking the muscle tissues, how you build the muscle. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're literally drenched in sweat just with your weightlifting. Yeah, it's a, I'm doing cardio yeah. at the same time that I'm doing the weightlifting because I'm doing it so quickly and I'm doing drop sets. So, I mean, I'm really drenched in sweat when I do a step master, which is so yeah. hard. Wow. Yeah. That is a killer. I know. Yeah. Um, and you also do um, supersets. So you'll do the same muscle, let's say chest, right? Right, right and exactly. And you do the drop sets with the chest and then you finish it off with push ups. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I'll do, let's say, uh, flies with 60 pounds and then I do flies with 40 pounds and then I'll put my feet up in the highest bench I can find to mm -hmm. be in an incline and I do 30 push ups. Yeah. So I'll do three sets of that. So it's Nine, nine repetition of those sets. Yeah. So. And uh, you do a split body, right? So you'll do upper body. Yes. You know, honey, son, you know, most of the times I go to the gym and I don't even know what I'm going to do because yeah. I've been going to the gym for like 35 years of yeah. my life. So I don't have anything planned. I go in there and I remember if I did chest yesterday, I'll do back today. If I did legs, I'll do arms. And, and that's, you know, it's just a mumbo jumbo of right. stuff. But again, once you feel that you are where you want to be, the easiest thing is to maintain. You know, the hardest thing is getting there. And believe me, I've always told my wife, the hardest things in life are, I don't know if in this sequence, but I think in number one and number two, it's losing weight and being in a relationship. Okay. <laughs> this, what? No, it's true. Well, 50% of people that get married are getting divorced. I mean, you know, I mean, it's true. I mean, combining with somebody. That ours and, is easy. Yeah, but honey, you know, okay. I mean, you, you saw me, you picked me, you got me. Now here I am and look at the, you can't see the chain down here, the ball over there, but it's okay. So, you know, the hardest thing is losing weight. I mean, that's why I don't let myself go because it was so hard. It took me eight months to decide that I was going to compete after my wife coerced me to compete the first time because I knew, and I was never fat, but I didn't have abs. Well, maybe the top ones, but it took a while, I mean, months of eating well just so you could see abs. And it is so difficult to get that because, you know, if you're overweight, like 50 pounds, yeah, you're going to drop 10, 10, it's going to be easy. But when you're going to drop those last 10 pounds, that is the hardest part because your diet has to be so excruciatingly, you know, uh, like perfect, perfect. You can't eat like nothing out of what, you know, like, no Perfect carbs food. too. On no, top no, of never that. carbs, never carbs. Never. But I mean, the last pounds are always the hardest. So, yeah. you know, it took it took me a while. And, and another thing, the way that I think is like, if I really like the way that I look, why would I let myself go below that? Like in my mind, I feel like I'm being weak by doing that. Like, why, if you have reached a certain level that you feel so comfortable with, you're gonna let food be the determinant of that you're not going to look as good as you could only because you want to put food in your mouth. You know, bad food, obviously. So I don't let, you know, look, I love pizza. I love sweets. I love all that stuff. Don't think for one second that I'm like, oh, this person, he doesn't care about that. No, I love that stuff. I love sweets more than anything. But, you know, that's why I give myself a date. I give myself that cheat date. And all in between there, I have to eat well because I've determined that that's going to be the day that I'm going to eat as many cookies as I want. So, you know, when I finish eating those 24 cookies, I don't want to see cookies for a while. <laughs> so that's why I do it that way. Yeah, it's working for well, you, baby. Well, thank you, honey. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Let's talk about supplements because I feel like okay. we addressed the this is diet very important. Yeah, and yeah, workout supplements. This is supplements. very important. Yeah. For men, um, I don't know how many people are watching your channel that are old like me. But, you know, I remember years ago, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, just by chance, I, you know, I went to the doctor and said, you know, check my testosterone. I thought, because of the way that I am, I'm very hyper and everything, that my testosterone is going to be like a bull shark, you know, like it's going to be like the highest, you know, and I was what? So I was like 51 or something like that. My testosterone was 180. The lowest is 250 
and then the highest is 1,000, you know, in that range. And I was shocked. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take testosterone. I, I've always been against any, um, you know, thing that you inject yourself um, because I saw what happened to a lot of people in the 80s. But testosterone is something we make in our own bodies. And this is just a, you know, a pharmaceutical way of in putting something to your body that, you know, that you really need. So every week I do one ML. Every week you inject it into your butt cheek. That's it. And, you know, at first I didn't like it, but you get you like everything else in life. You get used to it. So that's the only thing I do. And of course I have a bright protein powder all the time. Um, now I kind of changed. I was having uh, protein shakes and uh, now I'm just getting the, the, the fruit and I'm just sprinkling protein powder on top. Oh, it is so delicious. Again, you know, I love sweets, so, you know, anytime I get to get something sweet in my mouth, I love it. So, yeah, testosterone is the only thing I do, and, mm -hmm. and I'm not doing it to build muscle, even though, I must be honest with you, it helps, and it helps cut fat, too. So, for the men out there that, you know, that you might be 40, and you think that, you know, that you're fine, go get checked out. If you're low, the doctor has to give you a prescription. Any competent doctor has to give you a prescription to supplement your testosterone and it will help greatly you know they the, one of the things that i remember when i got it that people said oh it helps your mental state you know like if you're sad or you're depressed or things yeah. like that well i've always been happy seriously i've always been happy and it never changed anything in yeah. my mental state but a lot of people say that it does you know yeah so i don't know yeah. uh, for De me it's, it's helped the muscle building that's for sure yeah yeah that's true. I mean, it's just having optimal hormonal uh, profile is going to influence every area of your life. Yep. And as we get older, we want to put back the things that we're losing just due to age. And uh, obviously, this is one of the best anti-aging remedies, just biologically, um, um, like, what, what's, what's the word? Um, for, for those hormones. Honey, you're interviewing me, please. Yeah. You get, you, you can... <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's the expert. I'm the novice. <laughs> Another thing I would say that it would, if, I, if I could, I would like to have HGH, which is something human growth hormone that we actually make in our body. But I don't know. It's First of all, it's a super expensive. It's like three grand a month. And, you know, again, I don't know if I want to get... I, I don't like injecting stuff that I really don't need, even though I'm sure that in my body, my human growth hormone has diminished, you know, incredibly almost at 59, but mm. the testosterone really does a great job at, at all these other things. And you can maintain a great body with testosterone. You really can. Fantastic, so, baby. And yeah. there's nothing else really in terms of supplements that you're taking. No, just that, that's that it. and the protein powder. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Just um, replenishing the testosterone and uh, yeah, I mean, the protein powder isn't really even no, a supplement, no, no, I guess. No, 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 it's not, but it tastes yeah. good. It's yeah. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. French vanilla. <laughs> French vanilla, the best. So, um, what would you say is the single most important part of maintaining your fitness, especially at almost almost sixty? Would it be? Honey, come on! I'm not even fifty nine yet. Jesus Honey, you're, in my head, you're sixty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. So, so, what is the most important part? <laughs> is it the okay. diet? Okay. Or Why do I do it? What? What? No. What's What's the most important part? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I do want to ask you also. Why do you do it? But in a second. Okay. What's the import, most important part? Actually, it doesn't really matter at what age you are. Um, but maybe as it as you get older, I think it gets harder, right? Um, no doubt. So, which is the most important part? Focusing on nutrition or focusing on exercise? Both of them. I mean, you know, what I tell people all the time is this. So, you can work out three days a week. And look great okay if your diet is good seven days a week but if you reverse that and you eat bad for three days a week and you work out for seven days a week it's not gonna work so diet is the single most important thing and then obviously you know comes you know the exercise but people have the misconception that you know you see people that don't know anything about you know exercise or calories they run a couple of laps around their their house or you know their block they come back sweating like crazy. They ran 10 minutes and they think, oh my God, I must have lost, you know, 10,000 calories or some crazy number like that. And then they go and overcompensate and eat all this bad food because they think, well, I've lost a lot of weight. 
it's amazing how little calories you lose. I mean, again, I do the step master, which I'm moving a lot of weight, a lot of muscle, 200 calories. It might be off. Maybe it's 180 or maybe it's 210, something to that effect, but still it's nothing for 20 minutes of working out. So, you know, the way to lose weight is diet and you supplement that with exercise and, and obviously cardio, but you know, single most important thing is diet and this is what's hardest and look at our country unfortunately the most obese country in the world i mean where do you walk in in any country in the world and a whole row of sodas a whole row of chips a whole row of cereal a whole row i mean and i'm talking about Publix, I'm talking about 50 yards or 30 yards of just bad food it's unbelievable sodas the single biggest poison in the world. I mean, it's water with sugar and they sell it for like three bucks. I mean, if that with the plastic container, with the wrapping, with the colorant, and I mean, if that costs them 13 cents with the billions of gallons they're making of it, it's too much. And you pay one ninety nine. It, it just, it blows my mind how people drink that kind of stuff. You know, it's not like it's going to kill you, but having one eventually. soda is like having two cookies because of all the sugar or even three cookies, Mountain Dew, the worst, you know, so you're drinking like if you were eating cookies, yeah. you know? So yeah. I, unfortunately, you know, we're, our society is, in the United States, he hears the commercials, the amount of brainwashing that is done on TV to get people to eat, you know, stuff that's not good. Yeah. But again, the bottom line is you, you make the decision, nobody else. I don't get influenced by anybody. I make my own decisions. I know. And today we have the internet. Now, when I was a kid, I didn't have anything. I didn't know what I had to go to a library to, to, to know something. Now you open up a computer. There's no excuse for people that, you know, say, oh, well, you know what? I don't know how to lose weight. No, I'm sorry. There, there's a million ways to lose weight. And then number one begins with yourself and your willpower and the commitment that you're going to make to yourself to do that yeah. because you have to be true to yourself. And if you really want to look good, you're going to have to sacrifice. Yeah. It's like everything good in life has to have some sacrifice. And that's yeah. the way it's going to be. There's a know? price. Exactly. For Absolutely. Everything. I mean, look and how beautiful you look. No, seriously, you're, you're gorgeous. And well, you're, you're, you're sacrificing, you're working out, you're doing what it takes. And you're 35. You remember, I told you 36 is the cutoff <laughs> date. That's it. I mean, we've been married for eight years. I told her after 36, I'm looking for somebody younger. So. I think I'm gonna edit that one out. No, no, don't. <laughs> Why? Why? People must know the truth. Okay, let's go on. Um, I wanted just to add one more thing. That the willpower is a muscle. The more you train it, the better and absolutely, stronger it absolutely, gets. And absolutely. And so at first. It's and who's been be telling you that all your life? Yes, really? I, know. I, mean, I used all to. Your I life. used to get into arguments with you. It's like. It's not a choice. Obesity is not a choice. I would read those books, you know, and everybody yeah. wants to sell you. I, mean, I don't think it's a choice, message. obesity, but I mean, you have a great power here. You know, I you mean, you have all the power, all uh, of it. Yeah, I mean, doesn't mean that it's not going to be hard, but you can do it gradually and gradually improve your strength Absolutely. and gradually withdraw from the the hold that those addictive foods have on you. Yeah. And I wanted to mention one more thing. Um, I know we, we we're talking about you don't do cardio much. But you did do cardio when you competed. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. If I wanted to compete again, yeah. I mean, I have a little bit of blubber on each side about yeah. that much. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I can live with that. Hey, they're because... not blubber. They're called love handles. Oh, you should know. <laughs> but anyway, so in order to lose that little weight that I'm talking about, how difficult it is at the end, yeah, I would have to do cardio. I couldn't have a cheat for a month or more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. You know, because you don't lose weight, just it's not going to lose weight like right there. You're going to lose gradually a little bit of weight everywhere, everywhere. in your body. Mm -hmm. I mean, my face is all sucked in, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. but I've gotten used to the way that but I look you, already. you won multiple first place bodybuilding competitions. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to compete again? No, I don't know. Not maybe when I'm 60. I don't know. I, I it's, you know, honey, you know how boring it is when you it's go there. Boring. You got to wait. Eight. You do. You do one pose and you wait eight hours to go and do another pose. No. It's, all right, we'll work yeah. on that. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, why do you do it? Well, number one, you told me that if I didn't look good, I was out the door. So number one, no, just kidding. <laughs> so I, I've always done it for myself. Ever since I was a little kid, you know, my dad always instilled to me, you know, instilled in me to, you know, he'd always say, Dad, Willie, 
you know, you're my little Germany, you're the best, blah, blah, all that stuff. And, you know, I did that with my son also, you know, I always instilled in him to always try to be the best. And, you know, I always wanted to look good. For me, for me, it had to be number one for me. And I was young, also for the chicks, you know, you, you know, seriously, you know, you know, girls that are hot want to be with guys that are good looking. I mean, you know, I like the guys that, you know, they want to be with good looking women, which, you know, why not? But then they don't take care of themselves. Either you have a lot of money and then you can get away with not, you know, being good looking or being overweight and have a beautiful woman. But then you're like, why is she with me? That's because of my money. Or you can do the best that you can with your body to attract somebody of the same. Like she picked me up in a gym. <laughs> she got me in the gym. She had her eyes on me from the moment that she walked in and she says, I'm getting that American. <laughs> I needed papers. <laughs> she had to get her papers. So anyway, now she got me. She's had a hold on me for eight years. You know, she doesn't, it's like, you know, it's like a gum that's in the bottom of your shoe. I walk around every time I want, it's right there. It won't oh go my away. God, my cheeks are hurting. <laughs> this is how it is all day. 24-7. All, all day. But anyway, it's okay. good that people can see the way that we really are. Mm -hmm. a no, lunatic. That's, that's a little tidbit. A mini, mini, yeah. mini part of yeah. what actually goes on. Yeah, but on. you know, you do it for yourself. <laughs> Always do things for you. I mean, it has to be for you because it's easier to give up if you're trying to do it for somebody else. Never do it for a woman, obviously. Do it for yourself and then you see that you will attract women that aren't fit. Because this is, look at us, we're both fit. I mean, I'm not saying that that's the case, nothing's 100%, but yeah. usually people that are fit attract people that are fit. True. You know, they True. go to the gym, other people it, go to the gym. It, it also has a lot of the similar mindset, you know, because when, when we're both fit, we think in a different way about everything else, yes. you know, like the willpower, the discipline, yeah. um, taking care of your health. Like this is, this is where you live. Like what's the point of making any money if you can't gain control over your own body? Like what kind of pleasure really are you going to get from anything else if you're sickly and you don't have energy and, and you're you're aging faster you know all those things yeah but you know it's just unbelievable how you know people just love food so much that you know it, all that yeah. stuff can go out the window yeah, you know like it's true it's an addiction and this is hopefully what my channel honey can but you can break those addictions crazy. it's not like yeah. it's heroin that you know you're that it's taking over your body and yeah. if you don't have it you're gonna have withdrawals no you yeah. don't have you don't see people having pizza withdrawals no they yeah, love well, to eat pizza and they make a conscious choice yeah. to have it so make a conscious choice not to have it and it's never too yeah. late never too late to lose weight mm -hmm. never and to feel good because the self uh, the, the, the accomplishment of losing weight is so difficult that it will help your self-confidence in so many ways. Your confidence will soar when you look in the mirror and you feel like you're doing something for yourself and you like your body. You like it. I mean, this is your house. This this where I live, where we pay mortgage, it's not my house. This is my house. And this is what I got to take care of the most because I want to live as long as I can. And believe me, being healthy is the best way to extend your life. The best way. I stopped drinking a long time ago. I used to drink a lot. Uh, 10 years ago, I stopped drinking. And believe me, uh, that has been the best. And believe me, I, 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 that, another thing, willpower. I drank for 30 years of my life. Every weekend I went out and I drank. But now, you know, it didn't take long. When I wanted to compete, I couldn't drink anymore. I never looked back. I, you know, and I don't let, I never let things get a hold of me because I knew that that would be weakness on my part mentally. My father always taught me to be mentally strong. So if I let something beat me, then I'm not in control and I don't feel good about that. So I can't let things beat me of outside forces, alcohol, Except food. Except myself. Okay. The little one here, five foot tall, but anyway. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, I, have, I think we've uh, I talked think, a lot. I, I know. Maybe I we'll think people do... might know us a little bit now, you know, and, God. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. They're going to tell they, you know what the comments are going to be? How lucky are you to have a husband oh, like God, this? Oh God, here we go. <laughs> okay. That's it okay. for today's now give me interview. A, a kiss. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed our little mini interview. If you liked it and depending on how this video performs, we'll do a part two. <laughs> <laughs> and give us your questions then we'll make sure we can address them in the part two so thank you baby you're welcome i hope it goes well i hope so too thank all you right. all for watching and i will see you in the next one